Hi, my name is Blake McGowan and I'm a certified professional ergonomist with HumanTech. It's pretty well established that static stretching prior to any physical activity reduces human performance and most specifically reduces your strength capabilities. Just as a reminder, static stretching include, involves lengthening the muscle and holding it in a slightly uncomfortable position for about 10 seconds or more. So what causes this reduction in strength? What's the neural physiological mechanism? Well, in 2017, a group of researchers from Australia did a really nice job of summarizing the research with regards to why static stretching reduces strength capabilities. So what did they find? Well, first they found out it is unlikely these changes are due to or due in the muscle. We don't see any changes in the mechanical characteristics of the muscle tendon unit. We don't see any changes in the mu muscle tendon stiffness, and we don't see any changes in the process of how a muscle is actually contracted. It's more likely that we see changes in the neural system. Basically, we have a change in the neural signal from the brain to the muscle. So where does this happen? Well, basically, there's two places where this occurs. First, it happens in the brain, more specifically, the motor cortex. And just as a reminder, the motor cortex is responsible for planning, controlling, and executing human movement. So, after stretching, the motor cortex actually reduces the strength of the signal that it sends to the muscle to tell it to contract. The other area where we see change is actually in the spinal cord. We actually see it specifically in the muscle spindle area. And just as a reminder, the muscle spindle is located in the muscle belly and it detects changes in length of the muscle. So after stretching, the muscle spindle is actually altered. It actually changes the strength of the signal that tells the muscle to contract. So what does this mean? What's the bottom line? The bottom line is that static stretching reduces strength capabilities, and it's likely due to changes in the nervous system, in the brain, and in the uh, spinal cord. It's not due to changes in the actual muscle. So for more information on Human Tech and the bottom line series, please feel free to visit our website at humantech.com. Thanks, have a great day.